If you're a fan of Warhammer 40,000, then you're no stranger to the thrilling experience of tabletop wargaming. But have you heard of another great war game called War Machine? Created by Privateer Press, War Machine is a highly tactical and strategic game that pits armies of soldiers and powerful steam-powered robots against each other. You build an army and choose a warcaster, an elite battlefield commander who have the power to manipulate magic and direct warjacks, the steam-powered robots that fight by their side. Like Warhammer 40,000, War Machine has a rich lore and backstory filled with political intrigue, ancient magics and power struggles. But what sells War Machine apart is its unique focus on smaller armies and highly mobile combat. The game is played with fewer models than Warhammer 40,000 and the rules allow for greater maneuverability and tactical flexibility. The battles are intense and fast paced with players constantly adapting to the situation at hand and using all their writs to emerge victorious. Whether you're a seasoned tabletop wargamer or just starting out, War Machine offers a fresh and exciting take on the genre that is sure to keep you engaged and challenged. One of the coolest things gameplay wise is how your warjacks and beasts can slam and wrestle each other, flinging enemies into walls, delivering deadly headbutts and throwing explosive barrels at each other. War Machine has plenty of rich and diverse factions that make up the game, each with their own unique playstyle and backgrounds. From steampunk trenches to paganistic druids to fairy tale nightmares and pirate mercenaries, let's take a look at just a few of them. Signar is an advanced nation with a reputation for innovative technology and military power. Their warjacks are lightning fast and they utilize a variety of ranged weapons such as guns and electricity to devastating effect. They resemble classic steampunk the most but also tesla punk and their soldiers resemble trenchers from world war one. Kador is another major faction, a nation of hardy and determined warriors driven by a fierce sense of loyalty to their leaders. They field lumbering hulks of steel and frost encrusted jacks and are masters of defensive warfare. These guys are quite Soviet looking. Then there are Kriks, an undead pirate nation that revels in death and decay. They use the corpses of their slain enemies and the remnants of ships and machines to create their warjacks. And that's just a few, there are also Trollbloods, Grimkin, various mercenary groups and more. You can pick the faction that appeals to you the most from models, lore and gameplay. So whether you prefer the advanced technology and lightning fast strikes of Signar, the hardy Kador or the death and decay and fissura of Crix, there is something for you here. In 2022, Privateer Press announced Mark IV, the newest edition of War Machine. As it's still brand new and at the start of its life cycle, now is the best time to join in. Mark IV armies are all brand new, with brand new models that come with magnet slots and magnets to allow for between game loadout switching. But if an older army catches your eye, like the ones you'd seen before, you can still use a lot of the older stuff thanks to the Legacy Prime system. That's why I'm collecting men off, despite them not yet having a Mark IV army. I can use the frequently updated Legacy Prime army. In Mark IV there are new warjacks, characters and even entire factions that have popped up. Like the mysterious and foretold Orgoth who used to rule and subjugated the land before the people learned how to make warjacks and drove them out. But now they're back with jacks of their own. Well, they share a lot of similarities, Hordes and War Machine were two distinct but interplayable tabletop games produced by Privateer Press. Hordes was a game where players take the role of powerful beasts and creatures pitted against each other in a fantasy world filled with magic and adventure. War Machine, on the other hand, is set in a steampunk inspired world featuring advanced technology and powerful machines that players command in battle. But the twist is, it's actually the same world. It contrasts beasts of nature versus man-made machines. Hordes features unique rules such as Fury, which is a resource that activates and must be carefully managed, and Animai, which are special abilities used by creatures to unleash magical effects. In Mark IV, however, the two games have been entirely combined. That is why some of the new Mark IV armies they've teased are Hordes armies. It's a bit less confusing now, and that means if you prefer werewolves, dragons, and gigantic trolls 
Privateer Press have you sorted in War Machine Mark IV. So why not take the plunge and dive into a new world with steam powered robots, deadly magic and epic battles. In the world of War Machine, the opportunities for adventure and excitement are endless. There are tons of updates and releases happening right now. The app is completely free and lets you build armies, look up all the walls and get lore straight onto your phone or tablet device. And it's easier than ever to jump in. Thank you guys for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, I try to reply to every single comment, the channel's still fresh and we are growing and I'm going to be making a lot more War Machine content, painting videos, guides, lore videos, all of that good stuff so don't forget to subscribe and thanks again for watching.